Hey guys, what is up? You know, I was thinking the other day, you know that commercial where that guy's driving down the highway and he's got that emu in his car and he reaches out and goes, give me your hand, give me your hand, I can save you. Let me tell you something, I don't know about you guys, but anybody that sticks out their hand that tries to save me with wild animals in their car, I want no business with it. But in this video, I'm going to show you something that actually might really save your life. Details coming up on RV Street. All right, let's get right to this. One of the things that very few people talk about is the fire extinguisher in your motorhome. Now, I don't know about you, but every new motorhome I've seen, they give you this little tiny little kitty uh, fire extinguisher, which I might add, you need to go online because there has been hundreds of recalls on an assorted uh, different models of these fire extinguishers. But I'm gonna show you something here that just might save your life. And it's not reaching out with an emu in my car telling you to give you my hand. So watch this. I'm going to go into the motorhome. And this is my bad boy right here. This ain't no little itty bitty dinky thing that can put out a, maybe a cigar. Look at that sucker. You can actually do curls with this thing. huh? Bodybuilding and putting out fires. But here's something that most people don't know. This thing stands up in a rack right inside your motorhome, right? And as you go down the road, the material inside this thing gets packed and packed and packed and packed some more. One of the preventative maintenance things that you need to do about every three or four months is you turn it on your side and you take your rubber mallet, you see this? And you hit it. Now I'm part Indian, and when I do this, I actually do my little dance. You ready for this? Hey, ho, 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 hey, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, that's not really the way it works. But the point of this whole exercise is, what am I doing here? I'm loosening up the material in this fire extinguisher because it gets packed over time. Turn it up. Hit it on the bottom, come over here, and do that. Go back in and put it back in the rack, and when you need it, as you can see, this is still good. When you break this tab and pull that ring, guess what, it's gonna work. So like I said, those little itty bitty dinky things that you get stock from the factory or from the dealer, uh, uh, fire extinguishers in the motorhome, man, they're just worthless. There's not, there's not enough in there to even do anything. This bad boy here is a first alert ABC fire extinguisher. But let me tell you, if you don't have a rubber mallet, okay, another solution. Got to be creative taking care of these RV folks. Get a block of wood. You're, the whole purpose here is to knock it loose. Don't have that? Here's another one. Get another piece of wood and put a sock on it. Oh, that stinks. You get the idea, right? We want to break up the material and you need a bigger fire extinguisher. But this baby here is not only big enough, but it's an ABC and that's how you keep it unpacked. Do this about every four months, you'll be good to go. In addition to this big bad boy that we keep right by the door, which was an upgrade from factory as I said, I also keep two smaller ones. I keep this in the bedroom and one back further in the kitchen. I, if, some, if an emergency hits, I don't want to have to be running all the way through the front for this bad boy. I may just need a smaller one. Now with these, it's a little bit different. I do not mount these small ones vertically. 
I mount them horizontally. The ones that you keep by the door, you don't have room to mount it horizontally. They're just too darn big. But these smaller ones that I keep down further in the living area and in the bedroom, I mount them sideways. I got one sitting right on the side of my bed. So, you know, in case Joni starts a fire in the middle of the night, you know, I can just reach over and grab the thing and put the darn thing out. So this is another alternative of having a smaller extinguisher to go putting in other areas that aren't bulky like the big one by the door. So the bottom line is whether you have the big boy or this boy or whatever boy, whatever fire extinguisher, keep them turned sideways, knock them a few times, keep that material loose so they'll work when you need them. Reaching out the car window and grabbing hold of a dude with an emu in his car is not going to help you during a fire. Okay, so to, just to wrap this up, if you've got one of those small little kitty uh, fire extinguishers that came with your coach, more than likely it's already been recalled. And that thing is too small anyway to really do any good. You need a big boy like this. It comes with a bracket and everything. It'll just screw right onto your wall in your existing place where your little dinky thing is. If you want some extra fire protection, you might want to consider getting these. I've got two of them. So anyway, just be safe. Keep this stuff all loosened up like I showed you about every three or four months, and it'll all be good when you need them most. Links for both of these will be down in the description area. Just click the show more, scroll down, they'll both be there. But whatever you do, don't reach out the window and have some emu try to save you. If you liked this video, hit that like button down there. Let me know that you like this kind of stuff. And give me your funny little comments or whatever. So until next time, this is RV Street. Stick around.